now continue our discussion about circles. In our previous video, we discussed about the definition as well as the equation of circle. So it's either we will be asked to provide the standard form or the general form. So in this video, we will be tackling another theorem about circle. This theorem states that the second degree equation in the R2 plane in x and y in which the coefficients of x squared and y squared are equal or the same and which no xy term is not always a circle. Remember in our previous example, our previous video, uh, we have the degenerate case or the degenerate connex. So here it is in the part of circle. So let us proceed to the theorem. Let A, B, C, and D be real numbers such that this A is not zero. Then the graph of this equation, AX squared plus AY squared plus BX plus CY plus D equal to zero is either a circle, a point, or empty set. So to do that, we will just rewrite this given equation, this general equation, into standard form. Okay? Standard form in such a way we replace r squared by q so that we can easily determine whether it is a circle, a point, or empty set. So... First, if the value of q in the standard form or the number in the right in the, in the right portion of our equation is zero, then the only solution of the equation is the point h k, the point h k. And if q here is greater than zero, then the graph of the equation is a circle it's a circle circle r is omitted here and it is a circle where in the center is at h k and the radius is r the square root of your q and if q is less than zero then the graph of this you don't have any any value of x, y, or point that can make that equation true means it is empty set. Let us consider, uh, before we proceed for that, remember the three, the, the three things. First, if q is 0, it is a point. If q is greater than 0, then circle. If q is less than 0, then it is empty set. Okay, let's consider example. Determine if the graph of the given equation is a circle, a point, or empty set. So, let us consider letter A. Okay, letter A. The given is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y plus 17 equal to 0. So, in this equation, general form of the equation, we will be asked on what is the graph. Of this equation it's either it is a circle based on the form it's either a circle a point or the empty set so what we will be doing is we will rewrite this general equation into standard form and in doing it we will just combine those terms having x combined terms having y and constant should be written in the right corner of the equation Okay, let's do it. So, we will combine all x's. So, you have x squared minus 6x. So, you will write parenthesis because we regroup them. Then, plus, you have y squared plus 4y. Then, the constant 17 should be transferred to the other side. So, it will be negative 17. So, in the standard form, 
we have their x minus h squared and y minus k squared. So we will make them square. So in our knowledge in algebra, we will be using the completing the square. And it is very easy to complete this by just adding a term, which is the the number beside x variable should be divided by 2 and whatever is the answer you take the square so in that case you have negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 take the square that's positive 9 so we will be adding here plus 9 since it is an equation so it should be balanced whatever you add in the left side should be added to the right side so we will have here plus 9 while in the y variable here so we have 4 as the number beside y so y a uh, 4 divided by 2 which is to take the square is 4 so you add here 4 to make it a perfect square so plus 4 so we are now pretty sure that it is now a perfect square, perfect square trinomial. So to do it, you will just take the square of the first, square root of the last, then you combine. So it is now x, since this is negative, minus 3 squared. Well, in the other side, it will be plus y, square root of this is 2, positive 2, so 2 squared equal to so if we will add 9 plus 4 is 13 right 13 and this is negative 17 so the answer is negative 4 so if we go back with our theorem that we consider a while ago in the theorem that we have Okay, let us go back with the theorem that we have available. It is stated in the theorem that if the value of q is the va if the value of q is equal to zero, then it is a point. If the value of q is greater than zero, it is a circle, and if it is less than zero, it is an empty set. So it is very clear that the q here is less than zero right so it is sure we are now sure that the answer is empty set so it there is no such point that can make this equation true you cannot find value of x and y that can make this true so therefore the graph is empty set graph is empty or empty set okay I think it is quite clear we will now proceed to the next example second example the given is 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 6x minus 6y e minus 3 equal to 0 so in this example since we have 3 here as our a. So what we will be doing is we need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. So the result now will be, if we divide 3 both sides, it is now x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. And the same thing in the first example, we will just combine those terms having x, having y, and the constant should be in the other side of the equation. So you will now have x squared plus 2x, while for y, we have y squared minus 2y, and the constant should be transferred to the other side, it becomes positive 1. So then, we will make this square, so divide by 2, take the square, so it is 1, take the square, it is also 1. 
The same here, negative 2 divided by 2, negative 1. Take the square, it is positive 1. By the way, you add 1, you add 1, so you will also add plus 1, plus 1. Because here, it will determine whether your graph is a circle point or empty set. So it is now a perfect square, so you have x plus 1, quantity squared, plus here, you have y, since this is negative, minus 1, take the square, and it is equal to 3. And obviously, this is our q, our q is 3, and for sure, it is a circle. So it is a circle or in, therefore it is a circle is a circle or in our center is at the point hk x minus h so the standard form is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equal to r squared so h so obviously it can be written as x minus negative 1 so it is your h is negative 1 well, your k, since it, it is already minus, so it is just 1. Well, your radius is just r squared. So, your r squared is 3. So, it means your r is just the square root of 3. Okay. That is now the circle. And if you graph it, let us erase the upper part so that we can graph it. It is a circle. We erase this portion let us have the graph so if we have the Cartesian coordinate plane we will label it as x it is y axis so negative 1 for x say for example this is negative 1 and positive 1 for y positive 1 and the center is somewhere here is our center since the radius is square root of 3 so square root of 3 is um, 1 something so you have 1 so say for example your graph will look like this so your circle will be this one okay this is how we graph this one or if you really want to check whether your or if you want to have precision in in graphing it, we can use the Dismos. Okay, let's use the Dismos to help us in graphing. Okay, the Dismos. In Dismos, we will just write the equation, the given equation, and it will automatically give the graph. So the given equation is 3x squared. So, x squared. So, squared plus 3y squared. 3y squared plus 6x plus 6x minus 6y minus 3 equal to 0. And this is now the graph of your circle. Probably we need to write correct circle so it is somewhere here it should be somewhere here okay so we are now using this most in providing the the graph of our circle or somehow you can copy paste this and transfer it to your file so that you can easily recall for the graph or you can have the print screen and you crop it then you paste it in your presentation if you want to present so that is the dismos let's proceed to the next example let's proceed to the third example the given is 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4x minus 12y plus 10 equal to 0 okay let's adjust this one so this is the given the third given okay so, the same thing will happen. We will make this equal to 1 by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. 
So if we do that, it will give us the result of x squared plus y squared plus x minus 3y plus 10 over 4 or 5 halves equal to 0. Okay, we will combine those x's always and the constant should be in the right side of the equation. So we're going to have x squared plus x. The other group is for y, y squared minus 3y. And the constant 5 halves should be transferred to the other side so it becomes negative 5 halves. Okay, let's complete the square. So we will be adding, okay, in this portion it is 1, 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. Take the square that is 1 fourth. You add here plus 1 fourth. You also add here 1 fourth. In the other group, so it is negative 3 divided by 2, so negative 3 halves. Take the square of 3 halves, so it will be plus 9 over 4. Plus 9 over 4. Okay, so it is now a perfect square, so it can be written as x plus 1 half, the square root of 1 fourth. As well as here, plus y minus, it is negative, so you will have minus, the square root of this is 3 halves, take the square, then you add this one. So in adding here, obviously you have 4 as denominator 4, and here it is 2. We can easily add if you have the same numer numerator. So let us rewrite this into such a way that here is also 4. So you can multiply the something 1 which is 2 over 2 to make it negative 10 over 4. So you can now easily add this 3 because you have the same denominator. So the denominator is 4, you add negative 10 plus 1, positive negative 9. Plus positive 9, it is 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. So it is just 0. And obviously, in our previous theorem, if Q is 0, then the graph is a point. And that point is the point. Uh, this is plus, so you make it negative minus negative 1 half. So you have here negative 1 half. Negative 1 half. And here is positive 3 halves. That is the graph of that equation. Okay. So the answers for A, it is an empty set. B, it's a circle. C, it is a point. So watch for the next video as we discuss more exercises and challenging problems about circles. See you.